What is an array? How can we create an array of objects in C++? And then write a following program to see the working of array. Hello everyone, I'm Sukanya from Goedu Hub Technology and in this video we are firstly going to discuss about arrays and then implement a program to study the structure of array. If user wants to perform same task again and again on different objects, then we can create an array of objects to improve speed and reduce the size of code. For example, if I want to calculate the area of a particular figure, a geometrical figure, then to write the same code again and again, but I can just write an array so that at end times I input the user values, I get in return the area of that particular geometrical figure for example here we have created a class name area and we have got the value and then we have used get value function to enter the value then what we have done here we have created the area for square that is side square that is if the value or the integer inserted or getting input is y then it is y into y so what the function here void main does is int i has been inserted area you can give five times you can increase the size of array also this is the declaration of array the name of array and then the area which want to calculate on that particular array and the size is five that means this array can hold maximum five values the c out is enter the value to calculate the area of square that means you are entering the value of a particular side now for loop has been executed here for i less than five it will execute five times and then you will get the value and similarly it will display you the area with the help of this cout function so array helps us to reduce the Array helps us to reduce the time and then the effort of writing a program again and again while we are calculating the same thing. So if you just create an array, then you can insert the values, the number of times mentioned in that particular array. If here I increase the size by 15, then I can calculate the area of square 15 times for different values. So this is what array does. It also establishes code reusability. The same code can be reused for n number of time to calculate the area of square or for any such function. Now let us execute this following code in our programming console. So this is the program we have written here. The class is area and then we have get value function used to get the value. We have created an array here. You can see that area and array having five as the size so it can hold up to five values and then the for loop executed for the number of time i less than equals to five so that we can calculate the area of square. Now as I run this program I will enter the set of values such as the side of square. Firstly, I'm entering a side is having suppose two centimeters or two meters. Then the area is four. So one allocation, one memory of the allocation, the number one position is being fixed for the array. Similarly, if I enter the side value is three, then the area we get is nine. So two are being filled. Now rest are three position left in that particular set of array, which we have initialized a in square brackets five. Similarly, for 4 we get 16 and for 5 we get 25. Now we have only one value left for the array. So for 6 we get 36 and if I press any key, I will just get uh, exited out of this output console. Here you can see that. That means here the area array 5. So this is actually the size of that particular array that it can hold a maximum of 5 value. And if you increase the value with it, then it will keep on entering the values and then obviously the for, for loop is there for five times it's going to execute. So you have to change in both the ways. This is how array is worked and this is how code reusability can be done with the help of array and a lot of time and writing an effort code can also be reduced. For more programs we will look into upcoming videos. Thank you.